Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for walking through this Alteryx Weekly Challenge with us. In this video, we're taking a look at Alteryx Weekly Challenge number 205. It's going to be a text parsing challenge using the lyrics of Taylor Swift. Really exciting challenge for us this week. So as raw data inputs, we're given the lyrics to each song on each album of Taylor Swift's first six albums, starting with Taylor Swift, working up through Reputation. We're going to compile a list of the top 10 individual words used in the lyrics. Then we'll compute the number of unique lines per album, the duplicate lines, as well as the totals. And after comparing against a list of stop words, we'll figure out the repetitiveness percentage. So to kick off this challenge, we need to start by breaking apart each full lyric into individual words. So we could use regex. It uh, might be a little bit easier with the text to columns tool. And here we want to specify that we're going to split the lyric field and we want to use a space as our delimiter. So we could type a space or use backslash, backslash s to indicate the space character and configure the text to columns tool to split to rows instead of splitting to columns. So we'll get one row per word, and we should see the record count jump. We have just over 4,800 records on the incoming node and 35,246 records on the outgoing node. So now the lyric field is really just the individual word. So I'm gonna jump over to the completed solution and show you how we continue to clean up this data compare it against the stop words list, and ultimately compile our answer. So the next step, we want to remove the quotes that appear at the beginning and end of some lines before we compare it against the stop words list. We could use a formula here and use the replace function. This is a fun way to first explore the regex tool. So this is essentially doing a replace function, looking for the double quotes and replacing them with nothing, essentially removing the quotes from our data set. Next up, Formula Tool 1.3, we're going to lowercase all of our lyrics. That way, when we compare it against the stop words list, which we also will ensure is lowercase, they are going to join together so we can decide which words we want to keep and which ones we want to omit from the analysis. So setting up our first join, Tool 1.5, we're going to compare the lyrics coming in from the left with the stop words coming into the right side of our join tool. And you'll notice that we're keeping the left output of tool 1.5, the join. The J or the joined records, these are gonna contain all of our lyrics that are in the stop words list. So we want everything else, we want the left output. Now, some of the lyrics have some strange punctuation based on how the text was parsed apart. So we're gonna remove all pieces of punctuation and then compare our list to the stop words list once again. And we'll see that this time we're able to account for things like I, where before they were I apostrophe. Maybe it came from I'm or some other part of a word. So again, we're using the left output after we drop off all of our stop words. And we're going to move into the next tool container. So tool 2.1 is a summarized tool. And here we are grouping by the album year, the album name, the lyric itself, and we're counting the number of times that lyric is set on the album. Sorting the data, we can identify which lyrics occur most frequently. Lo and behold, the word like appears 91 times on the album red. And to keep just the first 10 items on each of our albums, we can use the sample tool and configure it to group by the album. Using one more summarized tool, here tool 2.4, we are grouping by the album year and name and using the summarized tool to concatenate the text together. So we're creating a list of those top 10 lyrics. Here the answer provided had a separator of a double space. So we'll go ahead and use that, although we could use any character we'd like. And you'll see that this is the uh, first part of the data set that we need for our answer. 
So next we need to calculate the number of unique lines and the number of duplicate lines. <clears throat> Taking a look at the raw data set, we're going to use another summarize tool and this time group by the album name and the full lyric and counting how many times that lyric occurs. And the methodology that I approached uh, for identifying a unique lyric versus a duplicate is whether or not that lyric was said one time. Uh, it may have been a little bit different from how the Alteryx Academy team intended it to be solved, uh, but that was the methodology I went with. I'll show you the alternative tools here in a second using the unique tool. But here, a couple of summarized tools will allow us to get the totals, the number of uniques, and the number of duplicate lines per album. And ultimately, we will join all of these data points together. Another way of looking at this is categorizing uh, the lyrics with the unique tool. Um, my issue here is that the unique tool will uh, count the same line as one unique, and then everything else is a duplicate. And when I think of a unique lyric and a song, I think of that as something that doesn't get repeated again. So just different ways to approach it, I suppose. Uh, so after sorting based on the album year, uh, now we have our data in the proper order, and we want to use a formula tool to calculate the repetitiveness percentage. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.